There's no party. What do you mean there's no party? Why'd you girls get in a car with me? Do you even know who I am? Where are you girls going? Where are you going? To the after party. You gonna come? Car. You wanna come to the after party? What after party? Johnny, la gente está muy loca. What the f Shelly's the name that I respond to. I will eventually respond to Professor Kagan, uh, but the synapses take a bit longer uh, for that. It's not the name I immediately uh, recognize. Do you have party animals here? People have been particularly creative about the way they spend time together, and the several different types of parties that they invented are a very compelling argument. This is your host Amanda and today we consider a few party options. Most likely, you two love parties and if you don't, then you probably didn't find the right party for you. This holiday video presentation is a useful tool if you still wonder what's the right kind of party for you, especially now, just before Christmas and the winter holiday. Without the claim that we're going to comprise every kind of party, here's a list of the most interesting ways to throw a party. The Rainbow Party the term has appeared in a rather distinguished environment, namely the Oprah Winfrey Show which was the highest rated television program of its kind in history. According to Wikipedia, a rainbow party is a supposed group sex event featured in an urban legend spread since the early 2000s. A variant of other sex party urban myths, the stories claim that at these events, Allegedly increasingly popular among adolescents, females wearing various shades of lipstick take turns fellating males in sequence, leaving multiple colors resembling a rainbow on their penises. The idea was publicized on the Oprah Winfrey Show in 2003 and became the subject of a juvenile novel called Rainbow Party. Sex researchers and adolescent healthcare professionals have found no evidence for the existence of rainbow parties, and consequently, attribute the spread of the stories to a moral panic. The Pity Party According to the Urban Dictionary, a pity party represents a way of experiencing grief. In which you spend your time feeling sorry for yourself and whining endlessly about how crappy your life is. Pity parties can be just for one or for many people, such as your friends and close people. Who will try to comfort you or just be there for you while you keep asking yourself what did you do to deserve such misfortune. Pity parties require the proper outfit, usually pajamas, no makeup on or just the one from the night before, hair undone as well. It also involves tissues, comfort food such as ice cream, chocolate, potato chips, cookies, cake, and candy. Alcohol might or might not be allowed since the point is not exactly to have fun. Music is very important at pity parties, and sad songs are your best choice. Some very ill-intentioned people have included pity parties in the Diagnostic Manual of Mental Disorders under a different name. The Nerd Party 
At a nerd party, a group of nerds get together and spend quality time watching a full series of a sci-fi movie like Star Trek, or they hook up their Xboxes and play all night. Also, at the nerd parties, the nerds may talk about vague and abstract things only understood by people like them or exchange manga books. At the end of the party, the nerds tell sad stories about their traumatic childhood when they've been abused and bullied by jocks who are currently working for minimum wage as construction workers or street cleaning professionals, not that there's anything wrong with working. Packing Party At a packing party, a group of people who identify themselves as minimalists, get together and help the host of the party pack their stuff in order to be donated or thrown to garbage. They have no mercy and pack everything, even though they might need some of these things, later the day and will bitterly regret giving them away. At the point of a packing party, the minimalists usually doubt the utility of everything that's in their home, which results in a home with lots of empty spaces that, supposedly, makes the owner feel much better about themselves. The Key Party, a lot more popular during the hippie era, when it became a thing, a key party is a couple's party where all of the men put their car keys into a bowl or bag. And at the end of the party, the women blindly select a set of keys to determine who she goes home with for the rest of the evening. In other words, a key party is a gathering of swingers where the house or car keys are exchanged to determine who loves who. Yes, a key party is nothing short of a sexual lottery. ABC Party, also known as anything but clothes party, is focused on creativity and looks, and is a type of party where you are allowed to wear anything as long as it's not an actual item of clothing, for instance, you are allowed to wear things like trash bags or trash cans, tape, lampshades, cardboard boxes, saran wrap, etc. If you attend such a party, you are among the few privileged people who will discover what else can you do there, besides wondering about yourselves. The after party, generally coming from Hollywood slang, an after party is a better, more fun party, occurring after another more boring party. The after party it's supposed to be the real party where the cinema or rock stars, after the colossal effort of giving motivational speeches and looking pretty, can at last be themselves and party with a bunch of disinhibited groupies who lack human dignity and self-esteem or don't mind being used by their idols so they can brag about it forever. The foam party might refer to a dance party taking place in a club where there's a great deal of artificially generated foam, which helps people relax and have fun, allegedly having a therapeutic quality to it. Some might also argue that a foam party is a gathering of people who pile up in a bathroom to wash their teeth. You may try both, and then say which one feels like the real thing. The cookie party is a normally feminine activity in which cookies, cakes or brownies are made and movies are watched at the host's home. The host must provide the guests with a generous variety of pastry products and a successful romantic comedy featuring a very attractive male actor, according to the occasion. In case of a Bollywood drama, the host must provide guests with a reasonable amount of napkins. Cuddle Party is an event designed with the intention of allowing people to experience non-sexual group physical intimacy through cuddling. According to the Urban Dictionary, a cuddle party is a non-sexual orgy where a group of people come together in pajamas and lay on a bed or on the floor cuddling and spooning for approximately 2-4 hours. The cuddle therapy as a recognized type of therapy, originating in New York, is not exactly cheap. A professional cuddler will ensure all the health benefits of cuddling, namely the stress relief and the release of oxytocin, the trust and attachment hormone. 
We hope this video presentation represents an inspiration for your winter holiday, and you manage to find here the party of your dreams, suiting your way of life and of course, your moral standards. Use the comment section to write about the parties that you find most interesting or intriguing, or the ones that you think should have been on this list. Sihapedia team wishes you Merry Christmas and don't forget to be the best version of yourself. Thank you for your time and we'll see you in the next video. What is twerking? Twerking is uh, working out on your bottom. It's a bottom-oriented workout. Yeah. I feel like just from the sound of it, I would enjoy that.